Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I've been getting a lot of questions about what these units can do. Uh, be it this one, this is a Citeki, or any of the units. But this one's one of the larger ones, and this is 2,000 watt hours. People have been asking me, they live in townhouses, apartments, they can't have generators. They're very limited on putting up big solar panels. Um, and they're worried about heat. Uh, this time of the year it gets cold. It's been uh, 16, 17 degrees here a few nights. Um, 20 is is not unheard of so it does get cold we live in the country though so we can have wood stoves propane heaters a lot of people can't and i get this constant question what can i do for heat there is a couple options one is the small uh, propane little buddy heaters that is an option uh, it might not be allowed in your apartment building they might have rules against that so you have to figure that out um, but i've never owned an electric blanket in my life until christmas time and we got this as a gift the other day I was thinking, you know what? This is an electric blanket. How will it work? How many watts will it take? So we've been using it um, and I love it. It gives us that option. Last night, uh, we did not stoke the fire up at night. Actually by eight o'clock it was out, no fire. Normally we heat 100% with wood. So we keep the fire roaring, especially when it got down to like 30 degrees here last night in particular. So. We let the fire go totally out and we relied on the electric blanket. It still was warm in the house, not that bad. But what we did is, I, this is a throw. They call this a throw. We took this and put it in the lower part of the bed and it worked great. So this is definitely an option. This particular one is a throw and I think it takes 130 watts, which is not a lot because it cycles on and off. So we ran it last night for nine hours exactly, and we used 41% uh, of this battery bank. Um, at one point, this was not underneath the covers. I'm sure we'd use a lot less power. We took it and we put it on top of the blankets. Um, if it was no heat in my house at all, I would definitely have it under the whole night, but we wanted to see how that worked and it was fine with us, but it didn't have the insulating properties of the other blanket. So it definitely used more power because it does cycle on and off. You can look at the Watts and, and see what it's drawing. Um, right now it's drawing 79, uh, 80, 81. So it's not even drawing the full 130. It probably would when you first turn it on and it heats up, but under the blankets, we, the thing would shut off. Um, so this is an option for you. This one is a throw. They, they make more, they make all different sizes, but the throw is very comfortable for me and my wife because it only takes, it's rated at 130. The twin is rated at 180, 180 watts. The full double is 180 watts. The queen is 130 watts per side, so they must have two controllers on it. Uh, and the king is 180 watts. When you get into 180 watts on both sides, it's probably not gonna work for you. So if you're looking for some heat in an apartment, the throw is only rated for 130. So it's gonna last you a while. We could have definitely got two nights, but we let it run for nine hours. And I did that longer than necessary just to see how it was. Realistically, you might be able to get by with six hours of use, so you can definitely extend your battery out in it. So this is an option. If you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm tempted to buy a twin and try that out at 180 and just compare it, because a twin would definitely be bigger. I could definitely put the twin in the bed. But this did provide the heat uh, inside a queen size bed running this way. So this is an option for you. If you've got any questions, let me know. People in townhouses and in apartments and condos where you're limited, where you can't have propane, you can't have big solar, uh, you can't have a wood stove, you can't have a fireplace, you're limited. But this option might be there. This unit's $1,000 and then you need some panels but it could provide you with heat, especially if you're up in, you know, up north where it's always cold. Also, you might live in Florida and say, man, I don't need heat. This definitely really is not gonna run air conditioning, but you could definitely run multiple, multiple fans for a long time. And I'll do a video on that, uh, on fans, how to stay cool with this, because there's a lot of people that are in Florida. 
that might need the cooling effect and fans are better than nothing if you got any questions let me know thanks for watching